So school is coming around the corner and my wife purchased this calendar where we put magnets on the calendar for the dates so that it can be used for other months. Um, I want to make it look nicer. So I'm just going to build a frame around it um, just using miter cuts. And I have all the lumber here that are just stored away in my shed. Um, the backing is a piece of plywood, three quarter inch. And then I have this pine piece of pine wood here that I'm going to cut down into length. Okay, so now I can cut this into halves so that I can have two wide pieces. So after the pieces are cut in half, I need to make one more final cut, and that is to make them one and a half inch uh, wide. This will give me my frame. So this little section I kind of messed up. I cut the, the wood a little too long. Um, so eventually, in the end, I'll have to fill up that, that uh, imperfection with um, some wood, wood filler. And originally I used my miter saw, but my miter saw blade is not perfectly straight. So it gave me a bad cut, so I decided to use a table saw instead, and it seemed to work out a lot better. So it's assembly time. Now I'm just gonna sand the back of the plywood. And then this part here was painful because the vibration of the sander, the table, the wood, it was crazy. And to assemble the calendar, I am just gluing all the trims together. Initially what I did was I used clamps but I don't have that many clamps and the outside weather was I think 88 degrees that day but the garage was around 95 ish so I didn't want to sit around and wait for the glue to dry. So at this point what I decided to do was I decided to uh, take out the nail gun. So to fill in the gap, I'm just shoving some glue inside and then taking the uh, the wood shavings and then just shove them in there. I eventually took the pencil there and just shove as much of the um, glue and wood shaving in there. And then after I sanded the whole frame, um, turned out nice. You couldn't, I couldn't really see the hole anymore. And here I am using the um, polyurethane. Uh, the reason why I use this polyurethane is uh, just to make sure there's no moisture going into the wood. And if, if I have kids touching it, um, it would just be easier to, to wipe off or clean off 
with a wet rag or something. So here's how it looks like waiting to dry. And now here's how it looks like inside her classroom. Up against the wall, all decorated. I thought, you know, it turned out really nice. She liked it, so. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching. See you next time.